Today we're in Sherbrooke meeting some wonderful ladies who are rescuing fruit out of local backyards. Well, this program started out um, when we saw the discarded fruit going bad on the trees. Um, we thought, well, last year we came up with this plan. We started with apples that uh, we would try to rescue the fruit and process it in the form of pies and just use that as fundraising. And also the preserves started coming out of it as well. Um, and we've sold them at different fundraising events for uh, the community league um, concessions that we've run. Uh, and we found that it was taking off pretty good. And then in the spring, we thought, okay, we saw the rhubarb going, you know, just being dec for decorative pur purposes only instead of people realizing that it's a good food source. So we decided to figure out a way to uh, process those products. Um, and we came up with uh, jam. So we add, uh, we have, of course, just straight rhubarb, but you, when you add strawberry or vanilla, or, raspberries, which are quite prolific here in Edmonton as well. Um, we create a really delicious jam that uh, even kids don't know rhubarb's in there, so, which I don't know is good or bad. A lot of people like the taste of rhubarb, so they say, but I don't believe them. We're always looking for volunteer opportunities uh, to connect people in the community, and on linking boomers, we saw that Carol had put an ad in there wanting people to pick fruit. <laughs> And I was thinking, wow, we're paying people, uh, organizations to go out to their, <laughs> their places and pick fruit, and which we thought was kind of silly when it was somebody just a, you know, a community away where we can go and enjoy being outside, um, the company of neighbors, and enjoying the fruit, the bounty. They, they're really, really, really been a great team to, to work with. People don't realize how good the apples are in Edmonton. They don't realize how good the rhubarb. Um, we're picking pears, we're picking cherries. Um, raspberries were very abundant this year. I cried how many I saw just falling off the bushes. But I mean, I rescued probably 100 pounds just in my back alley and, and from neighbors' yards who were kind enough to open their yards up to me, which is a challenge. That's the challenge too, is to connect with the people with the fruit. Will you allow us to come into your yard and pick? You know, you have to work out those challenges and work out what's a good, um, for some people, just get rid of it. They're happy to get rid of it. For others, they might want some or they might want to finish product in exchange. So we're still working out all those logistics of that. It's a real no-brainer. It's right here. Why are we going nations and nations away to bring our fruit in when it's right here? And again, I think when it comes to programming for people with developmental disabilities, I think our, the way we think is like nations and nations away when we have such a warm community just making friendships, knowing our neighbors, being connected to the community, it's just, it's, it's so simple, but we've gotten away from it. We've, we've gotten, you know, into this mill and we're just doing it what we've always done. We're going to do it differently now. In Sherbrooke, I'm Nancy Rempel. Join me next time for another great Community League story.